Hi YouTube, so I've gotten a lot of requests to do this video with the sound, so I'll go ahead and do it here. Alright, so I'm in Cricut Design Space. I'm going to go ahead and Google Graduation Scroll. Uh, I like to search PNG, but you know, you can see Graduation Scroll. I'm not seeing anything that I like. Uh, we can search Scroll PNG. Um, I don't like any of these. Let me go back to do graduation, scroll PG. Up oh, there's one. All right, great. So this is a cool one. So I'm going to save this as a scroll. Um, I've already saved this, so it's going to say replace. Yes. All right. So next, I'm going to go to design space. I'm going to upload the scroll. And this is I'm just I like to choose complex. So I can get in there pretty well with the eraser tool. You're gonna to see me do this. So now you have this version. So and I'm gonna show you why I do four different ones. Scroll one, I'll save that. Save as a print and then a cut. I'm gonna do the same thing, um, but I'm going to crop out different parts of it now. All right. I'm going to do another one. One, two, three. Definitely take out the background. I'm going to take out the sides and the top. Might want to leave that in, but we'll see. Just kind of play around with it because whatever you don't take out is where the image will lay. So that's why you see me doing this. And then I'm going to do one more just to give us another version as well. Um, oops, let's undo that. You could also take out that background, definitely. Let's do, I can't remember what we didn't do. Um, but yeah, let's see, let's just take out this, that, and that. All right, so you'll get the gist of what I'm doing when I show you how the pattern is applied. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and insert these four to select them, and I'm going to insert those four images. Now, they're all print and cuts. We want these to be print and cuts. So next, what I'm going to do is let these load in there. I'm just going to go ahead and separate them, and I will upload your image or your pattern that you want to fill the, um, the cap. So this is a picture of a family member. Go ahead and upload that. And he's going to be saved as a pattern. Let's just call it grad. And you're going to get a notification that lets you know when it's uploaded completely. So he's already been uploaded. But now that he does printed cuts, I can highlight it. And what happens is patterns pops up. So you would, you, you know, there it goes. It tells me it's successful now. Cool. Go back to the canvas patterns. I've uploaded him plenty of times, so that's why. So here he is without the background. These others had a background. I have plenty of patterns saved in my um, Cricut. So what you see here, as I was telling you, based on what you have edited out is what's going to show up on your design so this is actually not a good one to choose because he does not have a background let's edit this let's go with that. All right. this is not a good choice Let's use a different one so I can show you one that has color in it because I took him out of this. So use one that has color in the background. It takes a minute to load sometimes, you guys. Just be patient. There we go. So now you can see it better because this one is just him without a background. 
um, this one has the color on it. So I'm going to show you guys the difference. So as you can tell, based on what you leave behind is what will apply. So you see how we took out that and that, we took out the middle, we took out this, this, this one we took nothing out, and actually what I'm going to do is Yeah, but I want to show you guys something else. Let me go ahead and upload another one. Take out everything. Hit undo because I hit the wrong thing. Uh, my mouse is not getting where I want it to go. Continue. Save. I'm going to upload this. I'm going to insert that. And oh, I selected two, only meant to select one. So you see how this can lay on here? So essentially, what I really want for my fan is this one right here. And I'm going to show you all something in just a second. And instead of kind of messing with it, you can't just make them the same size um, by using your size guide up here. But I'm going to change this. I'm going to make this uh, gold. Put a pattern over it. Or you could make it a color. See? the pattern over it this way you have a little bit of a border around it so it looks like a scroll and delete these and of course I would have done that first instead of having to go back and size it up but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to edit this pattern. Because I don't like the way he's sitting in here. So I'm going to edit it. And I'm probably also going to bring him down a bit. Like 40. No, negative 40. Um, one thing that I'm noticing, I don't like that this is filled up. So what I'm going to do, you know, you can actually insert some other ones. Let me do something. Insert this one, and I'm also going to go back and you see now I like this better. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and do the opposite. So sometimes you just got to play with it, see what you want to do with your eye, and how you want your picture to lie down.
So on this one, I'm going to put a new picture in here. I'm going to put the same picture. Show you guys something. You see how it didn't take? I could also eliminate those black lines so it doesn't fill in there. I'm going to do that. So again, you have a few different ways you can do this and kind of play around with it to see what works for you, what gives you the look you're going for. So of course, I'm going to edit this pattern, bring it down. Yeah, like that. That looks good. Bring this out. Just gonna drag it out. And yeah. But this one, I'm gonna apply a pattern on it. I'm actually gonna. Send him backwards. You know, just fit it. I would um, size them up together at the same time instead of doing what I did and doing them separately. So there's, you know, a fan that you have. Um, I don't like this one. I could always fix this one up if I wanted to by editing this. Scale it out. Do a little different things here, you know. So just kind of play with it to see what you want, how you like it. And what I would do even to take this a step further, I don't necessarily like that the black is missing, so I probably would fix that again. But what I would do is take it even a step further. Um, you definitely want to group them so you can size them together. I would fix this one. Move them up about 20, yeah, about 30. See how that looks. Eh, more. So I guess back to where we had originally. Yeah. But see how he's back there now? I don't like that. So let's see if we can ungroup this. And then kind of drag, move, move him up. Yeah, that looks nice. See how that looks? You still lose the um, integrity of the scroll, but you have some options you can play with. Um, one of the things I would do from here, and I'm just going to delete this one out because I'm really liking this one over here. And that thing you can do, you don't have to do it as a pattern. You could do it as a color. I think I have this be black, you know, so... Um, just whatever you want to do. But one of the things that I would do from here, and go back to that gold, is I would group this. Of course, it's grouped already. Great. I would go and get a uh, popsicle stick. Let's take this one right here real quick. I would save it as stick. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to upload that. Upload, browse, you know, grab my stick. Again, do complex. Take out the background on that. Continue. Oh, it saved that. I'm going to insert it. And I would just come over here and I would kind of put this backwards. And now I have like a little mock-up that I can give my customer. I'm actually going to widen this because you're going to probably put it on those bigger sticks. Excuse that. Put it on the bigger sticks, right? And now, you know, kind of just select it, uh, group it, 
and I will remove these lines. Do a little screenshot, either with Snippet or if you have a Mac, whatever. Nope, cancel. Sorry, I'm fat fingering my screenshot here. And I would do that. Come over here. And I've got a little mock up to send my customer or something that other people are doing. You know, they're writing in class of 2018. And you can apply this text many different places. Oh, my text went away. There it is. Um, I'm going to use freshman just because that's a, a big one that most people are using right now is freshman. But you can use any font you want. I'm gonna capitalize all this. I like to use freshman in caps. And I'm gonna align it centered. I'm gonna go ahead and do like that. Bring in the spacing. 5.2. And do this. Yeah. And you know, you can come in here. You can put this in there. You can put some some font on it. Um you can do that. Just make sure you flatten it before you print it and cut it so that it will print and cut everything. Or you could even um, come up here and put it up here. Make it one line. Turn it, turn it. Make it smaller. You know. Um, just to ensure whatever you do that you flatten all of this and don't use the uh, popsicle stick in your print and cut because it will cut the popsicle stick out as well. So I would just um, hide that or delete it and I would ensure that this was flattened and make sure, then go make it. So right now your size is really small. You're at a 5x5. Five five. You have more room so I would probably um, or you have 4x4. Four I would make this about as big as I could get it. Um, it's not going to do eight by eight, so do six. Let's see how big we can get this. Let's see, it's not going to do an eight by eight. See, so the larger you can go is six. Um, but yeah, definitely um, do that. I'm just going to pick Command Z a few times. I'm going to delete out this stick. Oh, I wanted to show you all something else before I deleted this stick. Um, one of the things people are doing is they're even taking the text and writing on the stick. You know, you can do some um, vinyl on the stick, some vinyl cut, and lay it on there. I'm just going to undo that because that was not a good rotate. Let's just go ahead and use Cricut for what it's supposed to be and rotate it negative 90. And, um, you know, measure out how big your stick is or how long it's going to show. And then this is a small vinyl cut, but um, you could do that actually like that. So, uh, but one of the things, since I'm not going to go forward with this, I'm going to delete that out. Delete that. Oops. Um, just delete the stick, please. All right. So now this, definitely flatten it. When you go to do your print and cut, let's do six. So we're at six by five. You know, uh, get your sizing together and go ahead and do it. And all you have to do is go from there, print and cut, and you'll have a fan. Definitely recommend you print on like 65 or 110 cardstock, the pound, and get yourself a fan. And you, um, a popsicle sticks from Michaels or any other craft store you use, or just around the house. And you'll be good to go with your fan. Have a good one, YouTube.